All right, hello everybody, welcome back to a Pokemon Sword and Shield Ring Duels video. So today I'm here with the same GMAX Lapras team by uh, Cybertron, I think it is, that I used yesterday. So yeah, it's a really dope team, it's sick, it's fun, and I will be back when I get into the first battle. All right, I'm back with the first battle, and I am fighting a Blastoise team. So Blastoise is super interesting. Uh, it's shell smashes for the most part, although I have seen some other sets like in the past. I'm assuming it's going to be shell smash. It has a... Uh, thing, a uh, Manetric there to avoid electric attacks. So I think I'm going to just use Lapras and my own Raichu, if I'm being honest. Uh, it seems like it counters most things on their team. Uh, the worst thing for it is the Manetric, but I have Lightning Guard myself, so... I guess the Scavalier is also a bit of a threat for it. Actually, it's a pretty significant threat. Uh, I'm going to go with Raichu Lapras. I'm going to bring... Does this Rhyperior have... I actually have the tank to pull up over here. It does have Fire Punch, so that's something I want to bring for the uh, Scavalier. And I could also bring in Deity for their Whimsicott, but I don't think I need to. I'm thinking Dusclops for Trick Room, potentially, because their team is relatively fast. Or I could go in Deity. The Deity could be useful. Uh, do I want the Redirect? Do I want the... I'm gonna go with Dusclops. Yeah, sure, let's do it. I think Indeedee could have been better here, but I do think Trick Room has some value if they don't bring a Scavalier out, which if they do, unlucky, I guess, is the best thing I can say for that. I'm hoping they don't lead Manetric Blastoise, because that would cause me immense issues. <laughs> I'd have to focus on the Manetric before I can get with the Blastoise, which would be... Well, I guess I wouldn't have to. I, I just would want to max lightning. They actually have Manectric and a Scavalier. Hmm. So, I'm not entirely sure what they want to do here. They may have Brick Break on a Scavalier if it gets it. I wouldn't be surprised. I kind of just want to fake out the Manectric and focus it down with a Resonance. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. The Scavalier is super slow, so I guarantee I'll speed the Manectric. Or I guarantee I'll speed it so I can hit the Manectric. I kind of like rushed my play there, but I think it was the best thing I could have done. I probably could have done something else, but I think I, I like what I did, so I'm going to go with it. Alright, let's do it. I'm at, it's a very weird lead by them. They may have expected me to lead with the Trick Room side of things or something. They protect Manectric, which is fair, I guess. Oh, that sucks actually a lot. I was going to... <laughs> I, uh, I doubled into it. Every time I double into a Pokemon, they always protect, so I guess I should have expected that, but it's whatever. I get my Veil up regardless, and I don't think this Drill Run's going to be doing anything crazy, if I'm being honest. In fact, I'm about to max water this Scavalier. Granted, it's usually a Salt Vest. It should still do some decent damage. Uh, air Bloom popped. Knock off. Oh, my policy! I was actually going to test if uh, Brick Breaking myself broke the Veil or not. It probably does. I'm going to switch out Raichu, since I can't really do much. <laughs> yeah, I can't really do much. I'm going to switch out Raichu into Dusclops, actually. Because it's bulky and can safely switch in and might, you know, convince him to swap out or something. Or think I'm going to ally switch or whatever. Right, I'm going to water move there. I'm going to max Geyser there. Scavalier set up the, uh, the rain so I can do more damage next turn. Risk Akaberry. Oh, dope. Not even in the salt vest. Snarl. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I didn't even know it got that. I think I did. I just forgot. However, this will counteract the Snarl, at least one of them. Oh, shoot. So, this time I'm going to Nightshade into the Scavalier. I'm just going to double into it. I'm going to Nightshade and Max Geyser again. Megahorn into it was a Raichu slot, but I eat that up because I'm a Dusclops. Let's go. My only concern is I've used two turns of my max, and they haven't maxed it all yet. So I am actually in a tricky-ish situation. However, if I can get rid of the Scavalier, Trick Room is a decent play by me. At least I think so. As long as I don't plan on, like, nuzzling anything, but I don't think I'm going to. Uh, Max Geyser again. I could also double into the Nectric here. That way that I can't go Blastoise boosted. But this Scavalier is a threat. Ah, uh, they could also protect the Manectric, though. 
I'm gonna take out the Manectric. Oh wait, I I, I thought the Dusclops was second. Shoot! <laughs> I made a I made a dumb mistake there. I was uh, planning on doubling into both of them. That's unfortunate. Or yeah, doubling into Manectric. I mean, that's unfortunate. Uh, however, this damage is actually enough to knock it out. So I'm actually I got a crit. I think I did not. I just destroyed it. I guess that wasn't a Jesus Christ that damage. I guess Manectric isn't very bulky, you know. And that's decent on these Cavaliers as well. They go for the knockoff on my Eevee Light, which is, I guess, expected. I should have expected that, but it's fine. It is A-OK -okay by me, or for me. Uh, depending on what they go into here, we'll determine my next move. I am no longer m Dynamax. And they go Blastoise. I might double into that. I might just have to double into that. So, I was faster than a Scavalier. So, I could take it out right now. But do I want to? Do I want to let them get in Togekiss or Incineroar or Whimsicott? I don't think I do. I think I'd rather ignore the Escavalier for the time being and see what I can do to this Blastoise. I would like to switch out Lapras if I'm being honest because my pulse is gone. But it's not safe. Um, do I want a Trick Room? Honestly, I'm going to Trick Room. And I'm going to Hydro Pump the Scavalier. They could have protected. In fact, they probably do. They actually might have water straight up. Okay. I think... There's no, Dusclops dies there. For sure. Oh, I lived it. Jesus Christ. Don't lower accuracy. Land. No, I hate you, Lapras. God, I hate you. Stupid Lapras. Oh, I need a trick room there. I also need to kill the Scavalier. God, don't you just love it when Pokemon don't land their moves? <laughs> Uh, it's definitely not over, though. So, I can now... They have their max still. I'm gonna go into Raichu and nuzzle the Blastoise, and then Thunder. I'll just double into it real quick. The Scavalier probably shouldn't be ignored, but I'm going to ignore it anyway. Nuzzle, and Thunder. While the rain is still up. Oh, that sucks so bad! Oh, I made the play of a century... Oh, they swapped that. Let's go. I made the play of a century there! They go Incineroar, interesting. I guess to lower the damage from Nuzzle. Or maybe to spam Snarl once again. Do they Shell Smash? I guess we'll find out. The Nuzzle will super, like, definitely help out though, for the, uh, if they do to double their speed. They... I guess I know now. I guess I know now. Well, I'm going to Volt Switch next turn. Oh, and they're fully paralyzed, let's go. I'll take it, honestly. Honestly, I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. I will take that. <laughs> I will take that. Let's go. I totally screwed up there. But now I know. Shoot, that's my Raichu. Die, Incineroar fool. Be gone. Fool. Policy, don't put policy, don't put policy. Don't. Okay, they're berry. They're citrus. Okay. Um... Oh, they are figgy. That They literally were fully paralyzed twice in a row. I win. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't win, but uh, I am still very sorry for your loss. Not your loss, but you're unlucky. I'm going to Volt Switch and get into you again. I wish I had Thunderbolt on this Raichu, but I understand why it doesn't. I'm going to... It's not going to be in the rain. I'm going to switch out Lapras into Rhyperior, I think. Oh, no, I can't do that safely. Not with the uh, Blastoise. I'm actually going to freeze dry the Blastoise. I guess I should have done that before instead of Thunder. But now my Raichu is really, really strong. And almost KO'd it. KO'd it. So the Freeze Dry will. Cool. Alright, well that goes down. I'm going to go into Rhyperior to avoid any damage. From what would have been, I'm assuming, a Fire Move into Raichu. Or Dark Move. Parting Shot, actually. Into Lapras. That's fair. So my Lapras really needs to get out of here. And this is going to be the best chance to do so. Was the Incineroar faster than my Lapras? It was. Why? Oh, right, the Scavalier is still alive. Well, fortunately, Rhyperior is faster than the Scavalier, so I can Fire Punch that. And this Intimidate shouldn't really affect it. They are, they are actually Aka Berry, though. But they're pretty low. I don't know if they live it or not. They might live it, actually. They might live the Fire Punch at minus one. Uh, if it was, like, normal attack, they probably wouldn't. Although I am Life Orb. They could Parting Shot me again, though. 
I also... They're probably gonna ignore Lapras. I'm gonna Fire Punch them. I, I think okay, I'll even throw Akaberry. I'm gonna go into Raichu. I wanna, I wanna get a reset my Lapras right now because it's currently like, what, minus one, two, three? Three special attack? Let's get this reset. It's a very obvious switch, but I wanted to make it. I could have protected actually. They're maxing the, I'm assuming Incineroar. If this is the Scavalier, then I am very screwed. It's Cavalier. Oh. Crit. Or don't parting shot me. Don't parting shot me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't parting shot me. Don't parting shot my my Rhyperior, please. They Oh, they faked it out. Duh. <laughs> um Well I have solid rock, so don't I live? Oh, Flutterby? No, my Raichu! My Raichu! That's fine. As long as I land a hydro pump, I think I win the game. I think. I'm curious as to why they went for a flutter by there rather than boosting their stats, but hey, I'll take it. Okay, so I have a vital decision here. Do I double into. So they have what? Fake out and parting shot. They probably have snarl based on the moveset so far. And I would guess flare blitz? Um, I'm doubling into the Escavalier, if I'm being honest. Uh, I'm going to put my faith in Hydro Pump. They parting shot the, I'm assuming, the Lapras. Yep, okay, makes sense. They're hoping for a stalled out game later on. And Hydro Pump lands. Cool. Fire Punch, please. Akaberry is fine. That's fine, that's fine. I'm Life Orb. I'm Life Orb. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! I would consider this battle well thought out on my part. I may have, uh, messed up with the Lapras Raichu thing, but technically, I fully paralyzed the Blastoise twice in a row skillfully. Yeah. Alright, I'm about to hit him with a high horsepower. They're probably just gonna forfeit, but A, it is what it is. I'm very glad that this thing is PP Max, because I would actually have been kind of screwed there if they managed to KO right here somehow. Alright. Well, that is a win in my books. I uh, skillfully paralyzed the Blastoise twice in a row. They are probably very upset by that because I would be too. But I will be back when I get into the next All battle. right, I am back with the second battle and I am fighting a very interesting team. So they have a Drake, they have a bunch of Pokemon that really like to be fast paired with an Eldegoss and none of them are immune to stat changes. So I'm very confused. Um, however, I don't like being, actually, this is a time for trick room if I've ever seen it. Honestly, straight up, Dusclops are like indeed elite, I think, or maybe are superior. Because they could have Taunt on Grinsnarl, is what I'm thinking. Or Taunt Gyarados, even. Well, just, that wouldn't matter with Indeedy, though. Um, well, follow me, actually. Never mind, it would. It wouldn't matter. I I'm going to lead with Dusclops, superior in Hope, I think. It's probably not the optimal choice, but I don't want to. Like, Rhyperior goes. Actually, I don't want to be intimidated either. So I'll actually go with Ndidi, I'll go Rhyperior in the back, and I'm thinking, I'm probably going to max Rhyperior, right? It's not necessary, but I think I'm going to. Do I want Raichu Fake Out support? Not with Ndidi. Oh wait, you know what I like more? I like, I like, I like, I like this for their team, because they have Gyarados. And I'll bring Rhyperior in the back, and Lapras. Cool. Because the Lapras has Thunder. If I don't have to max Rhyperior, I won't, because Lapras is there as well. So hopefully I can get that as well. See, they have Drake result, and they're probably going to bring it because of Lapras, if I had to guess. So I'm going to try and uh, avoid being in a situation where I just get one shot. Okay, I think I made decent choices on my brings here. I don't entirely know what the Excadrill on the team is for, if I'm being honest. But it's there for something. Oh, shoot. Well, you can't stop me. <laughs> well, you, this ain't the this ain't the play to stop me because I can fake out the Grim Snarl and I'm, and the the like the Incineroar is slower than Raichu, Shuckaberry and Light Clay. So they are actually weak. they resist fighting moves. I guess that is so I can brick break them to break their berry. <laughs> uh, I am going to Trick Room. I have brick break to break their screens as well. So 
Honestly, I'm like, see, that's the issue with Grimmsnarl now is that so many people are countering Lapras's screen or Lapras's Aurora Veil that Grimmsnarl's screens are therefore like nerfed by proxy. It's crazy. All right, pick up the Grimmsnarl before they taunt me. And this should allow me to get Trick Room up. What? Wait. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, hold on. What? Uh, well, I am now about to, uh, Nightshade, this Incineroar, and Volt Switch, this Incineroar. I have Pain Split as well for after I take some damage. They go for a Light Scream, which is fine. I can Brick Break it next turn. Or not next turn, but turn eventually. If I decide I want to. That did okay damage. They go for a Snarl, which is fine. Oh my god, that actually did a decent amount of dust clops. Oh, because they're plus two, right? Plus two stab. Nasty plot is very interesting. <laughs> Get some damage up there. So the only thing they can do to stop my Rhyperior right now is... Set a Reflect, which I'm going to Brick Break. Uh, yeah, that's like all they could do. Is set a Reflect, which I can Brick Break, or I can Parting Shot out their Incineroar, which then counteracts the point in them existing, so... Okay, um, I'm going to brick break the reflect that's about to come up, and I am going to absolutely destroy your soul with, I think, a max quake. Don't want a max or don't want a rock slide? I think I want a max because I don't want this incinerator leaving the field with a parting shot. I want maximum damage here. Which, although based on the damage that I've already done, they have Shuckaberry though. Is that ground moves? I ain't gonna chance it. I'm pretty sure it's not. I think Shaka is fighting. But then what's ground? Ground is... God, what is it? I have to Google now. Fighting resist berry. Chopple! Chopple is fighting. Shaka is ground. So rock is the correct play here. Cool. I almost really messed up just now. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I almost really messed up just now. Nice reflect. Sucks if I broke it. <laughs> oh, that did damage as well. Actually, did decent damage because it broke the screens. I think. I think it does more if you break screens. And Rockfall to avoid the Shaka Berry. And Incineroar is no longer an issue. Cool. Special defense is boosted as well. They can't set up screens as long as that my Dusk is on the field. They can't get it off the field either. So. I'm in a great position. The only thing they have on me right now is Dynamax. And I guess let's, let's poke one revealed, but it's about to be different than that, so... Yeah. Alright, Life Orb right here is actually dope. Because usually people run Weakness Policy, meaning nobody attacks it, meaning it does less damage. But I can just Life Orb and just punch a hole in your team. Oh, Excadrill? Hi, Excadrill. Sorry to say, are you Air Balloon? I don't think so. But... I'm gonna brick break them. What is their policy? Or should I hit Grimmsnarl? I probably shouldn't hit Grimmsnarl. It's probably a support set, so I, I don't care about that. I'm gonna brick break. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna double into the slot, I think. Uh, I'm gonna max quake into it as well. I'm gonna double into the slot. They protect, like it would be obvious. They thunder wave me. I mean, it makes me slower, so I guess it's kind of cool. Uh, as long as I don't get fully paralyzed here, which I don't. So I break the Sash and break the entire Excadrill. Cool. I very conveniently had a perfect team to fight them. <laughs> At least a perfect lead, anyway. I, I had the best lead I could have had, I think. Because Ndidi, I guess, would have been good, too. I guess Ndidi would have also been good, but it would have been more passive. And I really needed, like, the free switch from Volt Switch. It helped me out a lot, actually. Like, the slow... Oh, oh that's actually dope. So the Raichu is actually kind of bulky, right? Because of the Assault Vest. So I can actually... I can get a slow Volt Switch after Trick Room. That's actually like cool tech. I like that. That probably wasn't the intention, but it's still cool. So this thing's going to Dynamax, right? Um, It's going to Dynamax, and I wouldn't be surprised if they went for a Reflect here. So I am going to Brick Brick the Grimmsnarl and Max Rockfall. The Gyarados. They can also Thunder Wave right here, I guess, but they can't because I'm 
ground type, and I'm stupid. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, they could. I'm not saying it would work, but they could. They do Dynamax the Gyarados, which makes sense. I would love to see G Max Grimmsnarl used, and I, I could also use it myself, I guess. But I don't know how to, so I want to take someone else's team. If this Gyarados is weakness policy, by the way, it's over. Because I think this is the last turn of Trick Room, because I got the first turn where I switched out, I think. Reflect, yep, I, I brick broke that as long as I don't get fully paralyzed. Dust Cups come through. Let's go. Yeet. Break through that just to be sure. And Max Rockfall into the Gyarados. This should do decent damage. I'm not lower attack. I'm not... Actually, were they Intimidate? No. <laughs> well, I'm going to call that a GG. I'm going to call that a GG. Oh, let's go. Ignore the support Grimmsnarl. I think their misplay was um, not swapping out the Grimmsnarl when it clearly wasn't working. Because I have no reason to stop brick breaking. It, it just worked. Like, they were hoping for the full paralysis or whatever. I get that, but I think the Grimmsnarl... I had no reason to attack it, meaning it was pretty much always a safe switch. Unless I predicted, but I wouldn't have. Uh, I'm just going to Nightshade into this thing in high horsepower, but I think they're just going to call it quits there, because Life of Repairier is busted. Let's get it. Okay. Dope. That was a that was a good two battles. I'm actually going to, you know, you know, stop on my head. That's amazing. Okay, well, I'm going to call it there. So thank you everybody for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, all of my stuff, and I'll see you all next time.